Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the At Your Beck and Call segment tonight. As we reported earlier, the General Electric Corporation was one of the last American companies to cease doing business with Iran and is now trolling for government contracts after its news arm NBC supported President Obama. But that's not all. Fox News commentator Glenn Beck is hard on GE's case. No. The Securities and Exchange Commission alleged that GE used improper accounting methods to boost reported earnings and avoid, avoid disclosing. Wow, that sounds like Enron, doesn't it? Bad news. The SEC said, quote, GE has been uh, bending the accounting rules beyond the breaking point. Bending the accounting rules beyond the break. Wouldn't that technically then be breaking the rules? And they did. They had to pay $50 million in fines. Here now, the master of rhetorical disaster. <laughs> I love that. Glenn Beck, the author of the big number one bestseller, Common Sense. Okay, look, there's no secret to anybody who watches your program, my program. We don't have any use for General Electric. We think that they're a, uh, you know, evil evil empire. I don't know. Oh, do you, we, we do you really? Be, Wait a minute. Do you really? You know, I don't like what they do. I don't like how they handle Come themselves. On. I don't Use like NBC e News. I don't like any of that. But I may be overstating it. You may, they may not be evil. Yeah, that, as evil as I, I love, think they I, are. I, I love this, America. You've got two pretty smart people sitting here having a discussion of whether a company is evil. And well, I think there's a good chance. They're polluters. Okay. They're, they're, they, they've distorted their news agency to be... Uh, promote a presidential it's propaganda. Candidate. That's all they got to pay 50 million in fines for cooking the books, and you know there's a whole bunch of other they've things also, in play. You know, I mean, uh, you tell me. Uh, uh, America doesn't understand either that they've become a banking entity. Did you know that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, they they got a big finance on. Yeah, a, a banking entity which Walmart tried to do for five years. GE, Obama gets in. GE tries it for three days, and they become a banking entity, which means we're we're it's we've almost created another Freddie and Fanny. To where we're on the hook for GE Capital. Well, they got low cost loans, but they had GE Capital had been in business, you know, for a while. Oh, yeah, no, uh, no, no. And no, then I, they had gone under like all the others. But they didn't, but they weren't a banking entity. <laughs> what changed is they became part of the government. See, the difference between Enron and GE, Enron had that arrogance. And that really hacked off the government, and the government Went came after, after Right. But this time, the arrogance of the government, along with the arrogance of GE, do you who's going to go after them? Do you believe there's payback now for the help that NBC gave Barack Obama? Do you believe the administration? Oh, I, I, absolutely. I don't think there's any, okay, I'll do this and you do that. I don't think that's happening. But I think it's just an understanding of friends. I think it's people who are saying, hey, look. I think this is why NBC went hard before Barack Obama on Green Week. Remember, that's universal. So that's all your movies, that's all your TV shows, and they have Green Week on all of their networks. And talking about green, that only, that only helps them sell light bulbs, it helps them sell uh, uh, wind uh, uh, and technology. They want, but they want cap and trade contracts. They want cap and trade. They they'll, they'll be able to, they, absolutely. And I think they bet the entire, I think they pushed everything instead the of the table and said, Go with Barack Obama, because if we help him, he'll help us. Okay. Now, a uh, Republican congressman, <laughs> let me get the guy's name. Uh, you're laughing at him already. Yeah. Bob Inglis from South Carolina. Yes. All right, was asked by an audience about you. Oh, boy. And here's what he said. The suggestion to watch him back. Here's what I suggest. Turn that television off when he comes back. Oh, he has your number, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> you know what? I have to tell you, I have not, I've not been in a situation, Bill. I mean, you know, we talk off the air. You know the things, and the. I mean, you've lived it for a long time. The threats that we receive doing this, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The last thing I want to do is be the fear monger. I say what I believe. That's what I do. I believe bad things are coming our way unless. We wake up and look at it. Bad things, let's take GE. Is it fearful to say, wait a minute, America, you're on the hook for a lot of GE capital here. If they're in bed and they're a propaganda machine, gee, do you think anything bad might happen with that? Yeah. Is that trading on fear? Or is that just telling the American people okay. the straight truth as I understand it? But I run the no-spin zone, and I think I'm pretty straightforward. Would yep. you agree? Yes, okay. I, you hack me. You know what? You know, I wait, 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 people wait, wait, are telling wait. the truth. 
is when I watch them and they hack me off, and other times I cheer for them. Right. You right. hack so me off. So I'm a pretty straight talker. But I'm not a fear monger like you. I mean, it's a difference. <laughs> See, this is one of the times where he's hacking me off. I'm not a fear monger. So, it, look, you know what? I did a show tonight yeah. um, that uh, was on. Barack Obama said, you want to know my policies? Then you have to look at the people I surround myself with. And I surround myself with these people. So I said, let's look at health care. Who is he surrounding himself with? People, the czars are people that want sterilants and drinking water, population control, forced abortions, take babies away from unfit parents, uh, a sliding scale where a two-year-old's not worth as much as a 15-year-old, and an 85-year-old, you've got to have 14 85-year-olds to equal one teenager. Now, is that... Is that trading in fear, or is that say, let's look at what they have said on record, and then play it out and say, what am I supposed to do with that information? Now, this congressman, ignore it. he's a conservative Republican. How, how yeah. did he get the wrong... Uh well, now, he said that he's only listened to me a couple of times, but every right. time he sees trading in fear. I th I so think I, that, yeah. I've only seen him a couple of times on my show and then yours. I want to know how this guy, why this guy built his whole career on destroying me. I don't know. I think he has to man up a little bit. You know what I mean? He's a what? He has to man up a little bit. Man up a little yeah. bit? Yeah. Yes, he has to get a little more yeah. courageous yeah. out there. Come if on. He, maybe, he, maybe you can watch that Ted man. Nugent. Uh, <laughs> Ted Nugent. <laughs> All right, Glenn Beck, everybody. Don't be frightened. All right. Coming back, back with in.